Oh boy! I mean, it was a question of time, right? I played the VIPs how many times, but ASMT just got the one playthrough. And in March of last year, it was the 10th anniversary! So why not? As a way to send off... Uh, the official A team, like A side, before I just play anything, anywhere, at all times. Here we go. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow, and this is a little game that was made for me back in the day called ASMT, a Super Mario thing. I wonder how well this goes. This is a pretty old game. I'm, I'm pretty sure that in terms of games out there, get the sense. Of might have aged okay, I don't know. I'm honestly curious how it's gonna go. Like, I've leveled up as a Mario player since then. Uh, that's a whole intro at the coffee bean shop. Everyone's having fun. Alright, uh, so this is the version you can find on Super Mario Central Da Peanut Butter. It's the fixed version by Super Mac. Let's just go. Uh, I'm gonna split this in two, the first episode, because I, the game is kind of weirdly front low. So, okay, so, if you're somehow watching this but haven't watched my initial run, hi, how's it going? Prepare for nonsense, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Here, there's like a lot of story front loaded, and then you don't get any of it until the very end of the game. But here we are, setting up demo. She's got a voiceless master. Well, no, the master is a lot of voice, but he speaks from a speaker, and uh, he's hungry. Give me a telephone. Give me a telephone. Uh, all right, well, anyways, so, you know, food, food is a great thing. Leapfrog, uh, that's a reference. That we're gonna meet later, but not in this series. Comestible for Master. GG got it. Good game got it, Master. But what about all the alveoles out there in space? Well, nuts to that. We got the technology. We got the fingers. We're gonna realize how to make thunder. Roots, sprouts, tubers, and legumes. No meat. Like, it's a strict vegan. This master. Just in space, everyone just eats vegan. Uh, Earth is the outlier. Well, I don't have much of a choice. Let's go teleport. Kazapo. Meanwhile, in the rest of history, check it out. I am trying to keep everything together. I'm kind of zooming through this. This this part is so clever, though. Yes, it is. See, Yoshis are a bad thing, you know? You gotta be careful about Yoshis, they're big and make it awkward to jump in two tile big tunnels. Uh, wow, it's got weird tongues too, and they burrow like there was some kind of mole or rabbit. I, do rabbits burrow? And that's like, I don't know, man. So we got all the food. I'm sitting next to the beach. What does the red Charlie mean? Is he fire based? Uh, they must have some sort of secret place. I wonder what that means. It's illegal to be secret. Everyone's aware of that. But, uh, what? Sponge cake. All right. Uh, okay. So this is the plan. Meanwhile, several hundred centimeters above is demos in the sky. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's still good. Anyway, this is for them a world. Now in 720, 60p. There was a resistance base. It's a reference to Mardi Gras. Also, it's the house. No secret passage here. Don't even bother having an existal crisis. Uh, secret door here in the chimney. See, because they burrow underground to hide. Uh, wonder what the song's from. Yoshi grunts. I'm like, whoa, check it out. My helmet scarring my eyes, hammering my job as a soldier. Flare is a. Back then, I was just awestruck, I think, and because of that, this went by pretty, pretty slowly. Whoa, that text just kind of went on its own. I did not press a button to to accelerate. 
I guess it's to uh, imitate the soldier interrupting her. A humsicle! That's my favorite kind of vehicle. Look at these many instances of Demo. There's Demo looking up, Demo lowering her eyelid, Demo twisting her body in a ribbon. All a good time. There's Yoshi Leader! Amanda! Sir! Such a clever girl to be a dinosaur! And then, that was a uh, yo, just, just, just point me the words grocery store, please. I don't need to get involved. Again, the text went on its own. Whoa, that large eye looks pretty silly. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, well, aha! You ate some bad cabbages, eh? Join the resistance. And calling my important super science space object a little toy. Totally not condescending here, Yoshi Leader. Assuming that's your real name. Small price to pay. Alright, Khan's gonna be a big important part of the game here. So everyone pay attention to Khan. He is the linchpin that's holding the whole game together. Uh, alright, sweet. I'm aware of my asterisk. That's just how it goes. And then we're here we're in Explorer's Blaze. You're somewhere in outer space. So go check it out. There's a Yoshi here. You press up on top. For some reason, nobody understands me. Well, that's pretty wacky. Look at that cyan face. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Well, I want to talk to you. That door ain't no nothing know how. Uh, oh, close the fridge. We did not close the fridge. If you get big here, you can dig a hole. Oh my gosh, that Yoshi's green. You have the hero that saved us all the time, but now he's dead. I forget how you get out of here. Is it this door? But I know you also get to like rooms where you can speak to people, like Leader Chan. Okay, look at this sweet empty giant massive cave with some books or something on the shelves. Whatever they are, they are brown. So, like, this is a very daring decision to start your platforming fun time adventure game platformer with very heavy just bunch of here's story. Eat soup! Uh, it's a direct quote from some person on the internet. It used to be very well known, but has essentially disappeared. Uh, okay, uh, well, I'm not a stranger. My name is Demo. My name's in the hub twice. Uh, since that we live underground now. Falling down holes, that's a referential to Yoshi's falling down holes. That's pretty funny. That's pretty dark though. It's pretty funny. This is the metal door. It's a door that teaches us about the value of electricity conductivity. Can you please not rob a doobity bow? No con! That stands for convoy because he is actually several trucks. I got a billion bricks. We all block, so let's go back and do that. Whoa. Are you allowed to go back and do things though? Like, that seems like it would be an illegal move. But yeah, here we are. Destroying all that we hold dear for a fragment of a mistletoe that will be spent on Christmas. I don't know what that meant, but I'm going to springboard now. I can spring and I can board with all of the king's men. That was Condor. Condor. Canary died, and I'm not going to do anything about it. Meanwhile, Demo falls off the platform brown. Truly the greatest baking day. When the war is over, I'll be a pirate. Okay, that also sounds like something I might have said at some point. The ground is pretty sweet. I'm gonna use the springboard to jump up here. It's not like there's a Sira here or anything. That would be ridiculous, but you do get to swim a little bit. Whoa, what a timely reference! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't hit the same impact when you know. Right? That's that's normal, I guess. So the demo is if there was a death counter, in case you don't know, deaths are gonna be counted. Uh, gonna get some people a much needed break. Om nom nom, he's eating all the apples. What a funny guy. I can't eat any apples here. Instead, I will buy. Yeah, it's a. That's how you spell ice cream lettuce. It's it's not iceberg because that's trademarked. So we call it ice cream instead. No one will know. I think that's all the speech here. How do we get out? I forget. I'm trapped in this cave, but like, yeah, these doors you cannot open. I think something near the start of the cave. Like, strictly speaking, you can kind of get out of this arrangement relatively quick. I spoke to you, right? Oh, all right. You're not allowed to speak. But are. Oh, there we go. This is where we go. Saying us. I don't want to do that. Well, I. Later, you don't have a saddle. That's pretty neat detail. I didn't notice until now. Hey, buddy, you don't got a neck. There's no secret passage. No one has ever heard of such a concept. Let's go! Let's start the game! And so it began. This is where we're going when we empty our can. See, cons like, check it out. I'm important. This is the place land zone. And I'm like, you did it. Con way west, you've reached apotheosis. Ah, it's so cute. The design, the uh, whoa, the Goopas in this game are like super adorable. The the simplicity I feel really helps them out, man. Like honestly, that series of Vine Jow being like the first meaningful obstacle in this game is pretty harsh, more than you might think. Uh, but, I mean, like, that was the point, though, like, in, in a way, like, this, this game has a very specific target audience, me, so you can kind of afford to put away all the intro, 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 like, of course you don't want to start super hard, but, you know, you don't have to teach people how to jump, and I, I feel like I appreciate that, just start, man. Rom hacks. Very rarely will it be people who are absolutely new to Smooth that will play it. Or if they are, I feel like if you've got the courage to seek out a ROM hack, you're gonna have the ability, or at the very least, the wherewithal to be able to adapt. Anyway, this is a secret vine. You bop your head on a block, and you get a secret vine. Then you get a Dagadon. You can call it Secret Vine if you want, but you should. Oh, check it out. Whoa, it's buggy. It has wings and also several maladies. So don't breathe in this bug. Instead, breathe in 26. Just toss it in your lungs for three hours a day. And you two will have one eye. That's how it works. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, bop, bop, be bop. The light just appeared there. Water everywhere. That's the name of the level. I forget. Is this a custom music? There's a lot of custom music in this game. Oh, I don't want that beat. It's not worth it. Whoa, check it out. It's a water level. There's water everywhere. Water and water. You gotta be careful. Ugh. Here you gotta. I think that P switch is not optional. But my memories could trick me, so here, look at that. It's Yoshi as a baby. He's everywhere in this game. It's a mantra replacement. Whoops! Uh, from what I remember, it was not meant to be like a global replacement, but people love the graphics so much that it became as such. I just bopped that guy. Maybe I should use that guy as a help. Look at that, like these jumps? Like for a world one, this is pretty harsh. Uh, but like I said, I think that is perfectly fine for what this game is. Oh, you need a P-Switch. Who cares about the springboard? All right, well, well, okay. Get out of here, springboard. I'm going to carefully put you on the ground. How about that? Hey, but you start right here. So there you go. But, you know, like, I might die. Like, there's a lot of enemies here. There's a lot of things happening. 
I'm not playing particularly carefully. <laughs> so... And, but it's fine. Like, it's fine. It's totally okay. Look at that. Pop somewhere. Kind of blind a little bit. Just a little bit. Just part, part, partially. No distance keeping. And then you end up at a place you don't understand. But I'm afraid that is okay. Look at that! You press a P-switch, then you end up in the realm outside of reality. I love that this game does not have a P-switch music, and instead it goes Yoshi Island, just as a tick a tick tick a tick instead. It's so much better! S that should be the basis for all modified smoo out there, but it's just not! But like, oh jeez, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm playing it risky. Look at that guy. Uh, I bopped on his head and he fell. What a fool. Now I walk in darkness. I don't got nothing to tell. I'm gonna do one more level and I'm gonna do the Red Switch Palace. Because, like, we're in the intro. Let's just go through the intro. Look at that island here. Crawford, go to Red Switch if you want a Red Switch. Now, what a weird spot to have a system save, though. What? Yeah, that is such a weird area. Huh, is this just a normal level? Does it do it every time, or is it just the first time you beat it? I mean, it's not like a free level, so I don't know if I'd use it as a basis to save all the time, but... I don't know, man, I look at that. Everything is brown! If you like brown things, this is your town! Maybe. Look at that, I'm gonna go up this vine. Now I'm up here. It's pretty great. There is a guy going. Oh, jeez. Well, first death. <laughs> I, I fell in between the hills. What can I say? It's gonna happen. And look at that. The version I played back in the day. Uh, I just saw. Okay, that green guy. The version I played back in the day did not count deaths from falling in pit. So this was just. A demonstrato to show that that aspect has been fixed. I am playing a fixed version, so don't you worry. All stats will be accurate. So I guess the crossroads earlier in the level. Yeah, I think it was pretty earlier on. I think I, like, I found it by accident back in the day. I jumped at a place. That place was the right place. Whoosh! Now this is where the gimmicks start. Like... Basically, halfway through World 1, that's when we sort of start to already abandon basic Mariology and go into the wacky wild world of talk house stuff. Which, fantasy, it's up there we want to go. That landmass up there, you just kind of have to travel around. How does, does this work? Is it from here? Like, how do you... Is it earlier? Like on this here? Like that's where you need to go. I got a blue shell. So I got all the science split. Oh no, okay, so a little further. There's more platforming. Is it here? Yeah! Here we go. Kinda had a kind of a memory. So we gotta do platforming up here in the sky. Can you platform mate on the sky? No, that's illegal. I think I lost my shell? Yeah. Anyways, there's a kickball tournament featuring Charlie and the Charlies. Uh, can we vanquish New York Eve Prime Minister of the Jam? Probably not, but this substitute probably... Yeah! Did it! Squash that blueberry! We're gonna put it in a can and shake vigorously. Alright, let's end with a power team, Switch Palace. That was a combined of effort of two people doing different things. Red Switch of Puzzle! Alright, can we solve this puzzle? This is such a good, like, bonus music. The, 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 the Mario 2 character selection screen. It's such a good theme. Alright, you gotta clear these coins, and you follow here. Whoa, using the magic of TV. You do that, and you're like, what? And then you're like, get out of here, block. I don't like you. It's like, well, I don't like you either. It's nice to see people agreeing like that, you know? You just don't see that all that often. Yo! Listen! Here's the guy! 
you just pushed a massive button, which is biggest. Goes to. I know. It's demo with a key. Amazing. We're playing ASMT again. I'm just filled with energy that I did not know I still had within me. We're gonna play this game and we're gonna have fun and then things are gonna get too hard and we'll see how things go there. This is Ow Cow. This is happening. This is happening! That music in this game is so good.